Hello everybody, my name is Abhita. Um, welcome to To Read With Biff and Chip, Biff, Chip and Keeper. This story, I'm going to read you the last voice and I, again I'm saying, saying my name, my name is Abhita and the, and the series we are reading is Read With Biff, Chip and Keeper. The story we are reading is The Lost Voice. You can see here, uh, this is a boy. <coughs> He's coughing, right? He's coughing. Coughing. He's a lost voice. Uh, this is dog. Series based on Alex Roxid Hut and Alex Britcher. Written by Sundaric Ryder, based on the original ca characters created by Roxanne Hunt and Alex Bitch Bitcher, and illustrated by Alex Bitcher. <sighs> Chip didn't feel very well. well. <laughs> His throat was sore, and he couldn't talk. Chip has lost his voice, said Dad. Oh no, thought Floppy. See, now we notice this is Chip, okay? Oh no, thought Floppy. Mm. Mom took Chip to the doctor. Dad took Biff and Keeper to school. Floppy was all on his own. Chip has lost, lost, lost his voice. He thought sadly, I wish I could help him. I know, thought Floppy. I'll go and find Chip's voice. I'm good at finding them. He ran the stair and ran upstairs. Floppy ran under Chip's bedroom. He looked under the bed. He found a boy, a boy. A ball, a toy card, a sticky sweet, and a dusky socks. But he didn't find Chip's lost voice. Uh, like them. there, there is a watch they didn't mention. What a shame! And there's a pencil. Floppy looked in the toy box. He found lots of toys and lots of books. Say, hey, a lot of. Toys. Yeah, you can see what's the time Benny book and the hairy scary monster. But Chip, but he didn't find Chip's lost voice. Suddenly the phone rang. The voice is on the phone, thought Floppy. I bet there's Chip's voice in, in, in there. Floppy hit the phone with a spark. Crash. Hello? Is anyone there? But it wasn't Chip's voice. Poor Chip. Floppy ran downstairs. He looked at the radio. I bet Chip's voice in the is a in, in there. He tapped. He read the radio with his paw. Nothing happened. He hit it harder and harder. Crash! The radio fell over. Someone started to sing. What a horrible noise, thought Floppy. If that isn't Chip's, I bet Chip's voice is in the television, thought Floppy. He looked, he ran to look. He, his paw hit the switch, hit the switch. He ran to look, his paw hit the switch. The television came on. Lord, this uh, it's 9:30 a.m. Floppy saw a dog on the television. It ran out with a shock with a big bone. Wow, that bone looks good, thought Floppy. The dog ran faster, faster and faster. A voice shouted, "Stop! Stop!" Uh, that dog 
dad is in chips and he went back upstairs. He saw Teddy on Keeper's bed. Teddy, he thought. I bet it has got Chip's voice. Floppy shook Teddy on. Growl Teddy. Help! Bark for Floppy. He dropped Teddy <coughs> ran into Biff's bedroom. Whoosh! He went skidding across the floor. Crash! Biff's fell over. He got and shouted. Floppy was scared. He hid under Chip's bed and shut his eye. Soon he was fast asleep. Chip came home. He was feeling a lot better now. Where are you, Floppy? He called. Floppy jumped up. Chip has found his voice. He thought he wagged his tail and went downstairs. Just then Biff came in. Her throat was sore and she couldn't talk. Biff, Biff has lost her voice, said Dad. Oh no, that's floppy. The end. I wanted to read this book all because this is about a very helpful dog who is set out to help his owner. That's why I wanted to read the, 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 the story. And you